Hello Virgo, it's Milady from Milady's Weights here and I've come to do your weekly love reading for the week of 10, 30 through 11, 6, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you'd like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. All right, let's go. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. All right, so it seems like some situation is getting ready to happen pretty quick. And it got something to do with either work or friends. Just somebody really close with you, like work friends, home friends, sisters, brothers, whatever. But, um... I don't know. They may have to try to protect you from something, or you may be trying to protect somebody else from something. All right, Virgo, 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 love reading. Virgo, love reading. October 30th through the 11th, 6th, 2017. Mm. All right, so some kind of burdens have been lifted for you. Okay. Alright, so it seems like somebody has been telling you something over and over and over. Okay. Wow. Okay, so it seems like somebody been telling you. Right now, just because the cards that popped up in the beginning, somebody been telling you over that somebody is maybe using you for gifts, but something happened. Alright, what is this? Summoning the card about. What is this siren card about? Mm. All right, so it seems like somebody's been telling you some wise uh, information. Somebody's been telling you something that you need to listen to about something that you giving somebody gifts or re gifts that you're receiving from somebody. All right, what is this burden lifting about for the Virgo? All right, so it seems like somebody's been telling you, letting something or somebody go. Um has lifted a burden from you it seems like people have been telling you to leave this um person or telling this person to leave you for quite some time okay all right this makes me feel like you finally found the information that you need to leave this person all right so it seems like for some of you this person may have come out and said like hey this is what I did, but I feel like for the most part, you was honest and told this person that you can't deal with it anymore after you got some information or talked to somebody that you really um, trust. All right, so this person um, had, they weren't sexually attracted to you. And you can tell. I feel like you look at them and they just looking at you like disgusted. Or you look at them like disgusted, like maybe somebody telling you, like, uh, I'm disgusted with you. Or you telling this to somebody else. Oh. Could be both of y'all telling each other this. So it seems like this has been on your mind and you're just trying to clear yourself, make some kind of mental peace. So you're just trying to be honest about everything that's going on. And that's why you're telling this person, like, hey. I'm not attracted to you anymore. You know, I know you do nice things for me or I do nice things for you, but I'm just not attracted to you. All right, this sounds like my uh, Capricorn is Sagittarius reading, but it's a whole lot of this going on. But it seems like uh, somebody just used to getting what they want here. Yeah, and you, they won't open their heart to you or you won't open their heart to them. Okay, yeah, you won't open your heart to them because you're not attracted to them. Okay? It's just like we do nice stuff for each other. That's it. All right, so this, okay. This uh, this makes me feel like it could be an Aries Leo Sag connected to it, but whatever this is, is getting ready to happen pretty soon if it didn't happen already. This could be an Aries Leo Sag, or this could be like in a relationship. You know, you in a relationship, and out of the blue, you just like, well, I mean, it's just not out of the blue. I feel like it's warming up, but you finally like, hey, I'm not attracted to you like that anymore. Okay. All right, Virgo, love reading. Virgo, love reading. 10, 30, 11, 6. 10, 30, 11, 6. 2017. What's going on? 
Mm, yeah, somebody is at loss big time. Maybe with an Aries, somebody feel like somebody's just sad. Sad about a situation going wrong with an Aries. So this this could be you. Maybe the Aries is saying this to you, but general reading, it could be anybody, okay? But I think I said this at the beginning. I read these straight out the book to ensure you get your full uh, message. So this could be dealing with a fire sign again. Somebody who's spoiled, used to getting what they want and I don't know, just using stuff against you. And here it's still a give and take relationship. It's a give and take relationship, but it's still like somebody is just like doing little sneaky stuff to get what they want. All right, so it seems like you may be separate from this person. You may separate from this person or leave this person or leave this job or whatever situation. Okay, you might work with this person. So I don't know, you might be leaving a job. You might be leaving this person that you work with, you know, but it's something relating to the job. Maybe your friends that drop at your job trying to tell you to leave this person, but that's what it's saying here. All right, so we got the queen of staffs first. All right, the Queen of Staffs is reversed. It says, nurturing, warrior, territorial, dishonest, and spoiled. So, basically, somebody lying to get what they want. All right, so we got the Six of Coins here. This is, it says, uh, you may receive un unexpected money at a time of economic gang approaches. If your hand is out to give, your hand is out to receive. So, it's like, I don't know, this person maybe giving you stuff because they want something back. So they, they tried to develop a relationship um, with you by just like giving and taking and then it turned into something else. But now you're like, hey, this ain't what I wanted. All right, so now we got the two of staffs. Two, 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 two. It says, take time to reflect upon your choices before making a decision. Consider where you are and how your past relates. So it's like, this person might try to give you something, but think about how you got wrapped up with this person in the last place, the last time they gave you something. Like, think about that. So this could be somebody you work with, or this could be a relationship that you're trying to or wedge or make a wedge or between y'all trying to inch out of, you know? So it's like, don't take nothing else if you're getting ready to leave, okay? All right, so it's like the three of coins. It's like, it may take some time to get what you want. There is much need for work and skill to succeed. So this makes me feel like you trying to inch out of this relationship without hurting a person's feelings. And this is definitely going to be a hard thing because you know this person is stuck on you or it could be the other way around. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs if you're on a personal reading. Check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.